Vitamin C is at the heart of a global issue. The way people are cured globally. I would have never known about TB had Suhu, my fiance, not almost lost her life to this disease. When a TB strain develops resistance to antibiotics, the tuberculosis bacteria travels throughout the bloodstream and spreads to all organs. This is what happened to Suhu. She went from 128 to 84 pounds in the span of a few months. The most powerful antibiotics were ineffective. It seemed like she was doomed. I refused to let her go. In an ultimate recourse, I did some research and discovered a little-known American treatment protocol. Two doctors, one French and one Algerian, accepted to apply this protocol as a matter of urgency. 240 grams of vitamin C intravenously. After five weeks of this treatment, Suhu was healed for good. But in actual fact, this is not a miracle. Scientists and doctors have already drawn attention to the exceptional healing properties of vitamin C. To this day, we have been unsuccessful in isolating vitamin C resistant mutants. I came across a community of scientists and doctors from all around the world who had been successfully making use of vitamin C for decades. The successes of this community of doctors and scientists are spectacular. So why isn't the research pushed further and the results obtained from vitamin C made public? Isn't the silence around such an important topic concealing something else? What is certain is that this molecule saved my fiance's life. She now teaches in a high school in Tunis. This story evokes the words of Linus Pauling. Linus Pauling, double Nobel Prize in Chemistry and Peace. Do not let either the medical authorities or the politicians mislead you. Find out what the facts are and make your own decisions about how to live a happy life and how to work for a better world. <laughs>